What's up guys? Uh, kind of an update video. Just uh, gonna say that I finally got my fucking SK5 Notches Bowie back from Cold Steel. You know, fucking A finally. I was so excited when I got it back and uh, well I'm gonna be trying to talk about uh, all the shit on the sheath I got for it. And, uh, yes, I did add even more shit to it. And, uh, yeah, it is on my hip. And, uh, like I was saying, that, uh, motocross helmet leg strap is pretty comfortable. And, uh, I do EDC this fucker right now because, uh, I'm so glad I got it back that, yeah, I'm taking this fucker everywhere with me because it's got everything, man. Fucking everything. And, uh, well, let's take it off. What's cool about this is it has the quick release. Little Velcro button snap right on the belt loop. Real easy to take off. And then you just slide the leg strap off, and then boom, it's off you. And I got even more shit on this fucker now. And it is, it's maxed out right now. I mean, there's no more room for it, for any other shit. But now it is almost 100%, in my opinion, complete. Come fucking complete. The only thing it's missing is toilet paper. Because, you know, it's going to be a wilderness survival blade. TP. But in my cargo shorts, I always I always have, for uh, multiple uses, a pocket full of napkins and such. Just because they're so versatile. But, uh, yeah. I decided, you know, my Phoenix LD20, uh, I usually rock it in my pocket. But then I saw... I remembered the, uh, that it had a uh, case for it. And guess what that is right there. Ooh. Right next to the Leatherman. It was kind of a bitch to thread it through the uh, paracord, but when I got it in, hell yeah. And uh, it's right here, and I would usually carry it right here in my pocket, and it's just moved over a little bit. Now I just got to deal with a little Velcro loop, and... Uh, it's right in there, so now I got lighting along with this. This is all one self-contained package that I just strapped to my hip and go, and I got fucking everything. You know? So as long as I got, as long as I remember to grab this, I'm good, you know? Uh, uh, flashlight, also, I don't remember if I uh, talked about this in my uh, Ultimate Survival Sheath mod. Uh, this right here. This is my little uh, pack of tinder. Oh, and also that little silver uh, canister thing. That broke off because uh, there's a little piece of shit. But anyways, uh, on here is a little baggie filled with uh, dryer lint. Why is it filled with dryer lint? And what good does that serve? Well, for one thing, it actually works as a nice little leg pad. You know, so that way uh, it's not rubbing up against you so tough. But... Uh, yeah, that's not really why it's there. Why it's there is because dryer lint, believe it or not, burns pretty well. And uh, I have used my Fire Striker uh, on it, and uh, it is the Hobo's Tinder. Fucking dryer lint. And there's double baggied. It's whole thing. It's stuffed under these, uh, under the paracord and all that stuff. So it's, and, uh, yeah, I've walked around with this fucker for a, a cumulative about to about 10 miles so far. This is how much I've walked around with this thing. And it has not budged at all, so no issues of it coming off or anything, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, like I said, all my other shit on here. And I finally got my knife back. And there is no blade play in this handle at all. There's no sound. It's solid which is good. I guess it was just a malfunctional, uh, or a malfunction in the, uh, quality. You know, just a little slip up through the cracks. But, uh, this one's good. They, uh, replaced it. And, uh, yeah, it's good and solid now. As a survival knife, uh, I did learn, uh, over the course of while it was getting repaired, I was doing my research on this knife. It does not have a solid solid steel tang. It actually has what is called a uh, partial cable tang. And it goes into a rod which then clips off and then splits open and clamps onto a steel cable. It is welded 
and then has a steel cable that then goes into a fucking screw that goes into this that screws onto the fucking thing. And what that does uh, is really all about a balance thing. That's, that's what I looked up in uh, the cold steel forums. It was all about the balance so that way it gives it a livelier tip and a little bit more weight in the chop because if it was uh, more weight in the handle, it'd make the blade too light, and uh, you couldn't really chop with it. So that's why they did. They chose to do that, and uh, yeah, and fucking SK5 notches Bowie. And uh, for a survival knife, you know, for a strictly woodland survival hard use knife, I honestly would have preferred to have gone with the uh, Trailmaster or something like that, or uh, the SE Home Gloss. But it's just because this knife is so damn big that the sheath itself gives me so much room to just put everything on here, which is exactly what I did. So it's all one self-contained package, like I was saying. And fucking duct tape, split rings, carabiners, striker, fire striker with a built-in signal whistle, fucking hobo tool, leatherman, flashlight, big-ass knife. Two spare blades, you know, the multi-tool, all those shit, all that shit in it, and uh, paracord, tinder for fire starting, and uh, all that shit, man. It's all right here. Uh, I know a lot of people when they talk about. Uh, I look up a lot of people's uh, YouTube videos and stuff when they talk about like their EDC and their blades of choice and stuff, and how they don't like the Spartan because it's too heavy in their pocket and stuff, and I'm like. You know, I rock the Spartan. I'm used to it. I rock this fucker. I'm used to it. My fucking badass flashlight. Uh, when it gets dark out, I just put this fucker like this. Like that. In my belt loop. And that handle is great for keeping it there. So, you just you get it right here. Boom. Sorry for blinding you, but I mean... Now you got your super badass flashlight, which I use uh, both as a uh, as my primary flashlight, so that way I don't gotta pull out my uh, Phoenix, because it's also like well, it's a thousand lumens compared to uh, 180, so it's like almost ten times brighter. And uh, yeah, man. I mean, it also balances out my uh, hips. You know, the weight of this counteracts the weight of all this shit. So that way I get uh, both pretty much the same weight. Yeah, not just always a little bit heavier because it's actually solid, solid steel and all that shit hanging off it. But this is uh, also very heavy and uh, it balances out. And I'm used to the weight on my hips. So, yeah, that also kind of helps for training. You know, if uh, you want to train, you know, carrying all your shit with you, then do that. Carry all your shit with you, which is what I'm doing which is why I got all that shit on there. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's all self-contained, like I'm saying. It's, I just strapped that on my hip, and I'm golden. I got everything I need right there. No need for a backpack or a fucking Maxpedition little thing or a fucking fanny pack. It's all right there. And, uh, it's awesome. Plus, it gives me an excuse to uh, rock the notches bowie. You know, because it's primarily designed as a fighting knife, I say, well, look at all the shit on here. I designed it to be a survival knife. You're going to tell me I can't survive? I'm not allowed to carry tools to help me to survive? Fuck you, you know? Plus, it's open carry, you know, no concealing or anything. It's Yeah. Many times I've uh, just walked into grocery stores with this thing on my hip, handle sticking out, bright, shiny brass sticking out and just like fucking buying groceries and stuff and no one says a goddamn thing. Maybe it's because they see that it's a giant knife and no one wants to fuck with the guy with the giant knife or they just don't care. I guess it just might be my uh, residency here in Arizona where it's a little bit more uh, uh, more freedoms for uh, guns and weapons and stuff versus uh, places like New York where it's just a god-awful mess of you can't carry this or that bullshit. So, yeah. And I mean, a giant fucking fixed blade. Okay? That's my EDC blade. Okay? This is my EDC blade now. Now that I got it back from the 
Got my fucking nachos back from the uh, store. Or from the uh, Cold Steel place. And, uh, yeah, man. You cannot disagree with the fact that a big knife can do what a little knife can do, but a little knife cannot do what a big knife can do. So you bring the big knife for that versatility. And, you know, the philosophy of a knife is, you know, it's a tool. And it's not just a tool. It's man's oldest and most versatile tool ever, period. No, end of discussion, okay? Knives have been around pretty much as long as man has, period, okay? With the, the flint nap hand axes and all that stuff, those were knives. And it just, you know, as man has evolved, so has so as our knives and they've gotten better stronger sharper more useful tougher prettier and you know it's just an amazing thing and it's a knife is primeval too you know it's a knife it carries that uh, history with it you know I mean guns are relatively I mean guns are pretty much brand new considering in the timeline of how long humans have been around but a knife has been there almost every single step of the way along with us uh, ever since we knew how to use tools which is basically how we became the uh, dominant species on here on earth and knives have been right there with us you know getting all of our getting all of our needs done or you know and uh... it's fucking awesome and uh... i got this knife i got that knife that knife and my Spartan. So I got four blades on me. All of them have legitimate, varied uses. And that's what's awesome about a knife is it's so versatile that you can carry several of them and they all have their own designated jobs and they're all validly usable, which is fucking awesome. So, uh, yeah. Or if I'm also carrying my fucking camelback on here, I got my uh, cold steel safe maker for my, uh, Super quick uh, tactical knife, I guess. Uh, tactical. I'm not. I'm not real big on uh, that tactical term or anything. But you know, it's just. It's so simply just grip, rip, and stick. You know, and because it's a push dagger, you know, you get that maximum power of stabbing. But anyways, this is my. You know. Carry system. Or it's not really new, but. This is my carry system. Uh, updated it. Got my knife back. And fucking A. I'm gonna rock it. And I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna be prepared. And uh, who knows? Zombie apocalypse or something? If you've seen that Cold Steel video? Big ass blades? You can just chop right into a skull with this thing like a fucking axe. You know? Of course, uh, now I'm going off topic into non fiction. Or, uh, no fiction, god damn it, from non-fiction to fiction, talking about fictional monsters and stuff, but anyways, like I'm saying, big ass knife, uh, also for self-defense and stuff, probably not the best choice because it is so big and it, it's just such an obvious move, you know, drawing out that giant knife and it's big and shiny and, you know, it's heavy, it's not very fast, but uh, I'm going to use this for uh, survival, you know, urban or woodland or desert, wherever, man, it's fucking survival, but, uh, yeah, uh, I rock only knives right now because I don't have a gun yet, uh, I would definitely like to, uh, I'm actually saving up for a Glock 26 for, uh, concealed carry and stuff, so, yeah, it's not like I got anything against guns, it's, I don't got the fucking money to get one, you know? This knife is the much, much cheaper economical version of their original knife, which I was talking about in my uh, review of this knife. And it's less than $200 if you know where to get it. And $200 to me is still extremely expensive, which is why I still had to save up and, you know, for like weeks and weeks in order to get this thing. And that was when uh, business was good. Now business is slow as fuck. I'm not making any money at all, and I'm trying to save up for a fucking $500 gun, 
you know, so, yeah, plus ammunition and magazines and fucking carry systems and all that shit, it's going to get expensive, so it's going to take a while, plus I'm uh, still under the age of 21, so in many places, you know, you can't even buy a pistol, but, uh, you know, yeah, so, big ass knife to compensate. Pull that fucking crock dundee. That's not a knife, mate. You know, but... Yeah. Really long video of me talking about shit, so... Yeah. Well, uh... Hope you guys enjoy. <sighs> fucking shit. It is heavy as fuck. I have no idea. It's probably about, like, uh... Feels like about five pounds right now, man. Five fucking pounds hanging off your hip. And it's not a firearm. So, it's not a big ass hand cannon. But it is a big ass blade. And like I was talking about in my review, I know this is a very long video, but uh, I finally found another uh, MP4 converter so uh, I can make my videos as long as I want now. So, I'm going to take advantage of that. But, uh, you know, 11 and a half inch blade. You know, in my mind, in my opinion, 12 inches is the cutoff for a knife. Anything bigger is going into short sword territory. So, this being 11 and a half is really right there on the borderline of being no longer considered a knife, but now just a knife shaped short sword, you know? Kind of like a Gavco's blades, you know? He calls them blades, which is uh, kind of a. Uh, loophole because blades mean everything that has an edge on it so uh yeah but I wouldn't call them knives those are short swords and super heavy duty machetes and stuff like that you know which you know he calls them the fucking Excalibur and stuff which you know Excalibur is a mythical sword and stuff so yeah but anyways pretty much as big a knife as possible as you can carry you know, for all the versatility of everything that it can do and the spine thickness on that, yeah, I'm still tripping out about that. That is the thickest knife I've ever owned. And, uh, yeah, it just presents a level of badassness and primal, you know, things. It's just like, uh, you know, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it. Because, like I was saying, knives have been around with us pretty much the entire way through our evolution, and they've evolved with us, and it's, it's just primal, man, and, yeah, so, that's this video, almost 20 minutes long of me babbling about stupid shit, but, yeah, 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 <laughs> well, that's my video, sorry for uh, wasting so much time, you know, getting all this shit out, but, you know, see you guys later.